Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to simplify this challenging problem. And this is a cube root of 2 plus another square root as you can see over here. And I will show you a step-by-step -step way to simplify this one. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing we are going to do. We are going to focus on this part inside this cube root and here I have copied it down as you can see 2 plus square root of 5 let me go ahead and manipulate this one so we could simplify it I can write this one 8 divided by 8 which is same as 1 times this whole quantity which is 2 plus square root of 5 and now you might be wondering why did I choose 8 so let me show you the reason for that one we know that we are dealing with the cube root isn't it so we have to put down 2 then we have to put power 3 all right 2 power 3 is 8 so 8 is going to work for us and now let's go ahead and distribute on the top I can write this one 8 times 2 is 16 plus 8 square root of 5 divided by this 8 now let's go ahead and put that this numerator in terms of right now a plus b times square root of 5 power 3 divided by this 8 as 2 power 3 where a and b are our integers and now we are going to find the value of a and b so that means now we are going to work to calculate a and b values now let's focus on this numerator part I have just copy it down over here and now we are going to work on it and now we are going to expand this binomial by using this cubic formula a plus b power 3 so let's go ahead and expand that one I can write this one as a power 3 plus 3 a square time b in our case is b times square root of 5 plus 3 a time b times square root of 5 square plus b times square root of 5 and then power 3 and in this next step we have simplified this part so this could be written as we know that the square of square root is going to give us only 5 so I just put down 5 b square and this part I simplified as b cube times the cube of square root of 5 is going to give us 5 times square root of 5 so I just simplified this one over here now let me go ahead and simplify furthermore I can write a power 3 and this part could be written as 3a square b times square root of 5 plus here this could be written as 15ab square plus this could be written as 5b cube times square root of Five. and now let me go ahead and rearrange these one I'm going to combine these two and these two so I can write this one a power 3 plus 15 a b square and then plus 3 a square b times square root of 5 plus 5 b power 3 square root of 5 again and now in this next step I have nicely grouped them I just wrote this part over here and in this one over here I just grouped them I factored out this square root of 5 here right up here and this is inside this part now let's go back to our this original equation let's focus on this part over here we know that this is 
equal to this one, isn't it? And I have just copied that one down over here, as you can see. And now let's go ahead and compare these two equations. We know that the left-hand side is exactly same. That means this right-hand side has got to be same as well. And now we can see that we can easily equate this radical part, this one, with this. I just wrote down this one. And this non-radical part, I equated this one with 16 and I wrote down over here. And now let's go ahead and solve for A and B values. And here's our next step. I have just copied down these two equations and we are going to solve for A and B. And we know that both A and B are integers. And if we focus on these two equations, this A cube could be written as 1 times A cube. And we can see we got this 1 plus 15 is going to give us 16, isn't it? And here 3 plus 5 is giving us 8. So it reveals so many things. That means this part, this one, and this one, they have got to be 1. Likewise, this part and this part has got to be 1 as well. So therefore, we conclude that our A value is 1 and our B value is 1 as well. And now let's revert back to our previous step and the previous equation, if you recall that one. And we have figured out our A and B value, which turns out to be a 1 each. And here I just replace A and B values by 1. Let's go ahead and simplify that one. So I can write this one as 2 plus square root of 5 on the left hand side. And the right hand side could be written as 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and whole power 3. And since we are interested in the cube root of 2 plus square root of 5, so on the right hand side I can also take the cube root of this whole thing which is 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and then power 3 and you can see that this cube root and this cube they undo each other. So thus our simplified answer turns out to be a 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.